So in this video, we're going to discuss how to inject a, a chicken specifically, how you should go about it and how you should do it. The reason we're making this video is that we have a lot of chickens that are coming to this clinic with leg toxicity. So it's more about how to give the injection, but leg toxicity causes some kind of paralysis. Lead, as, as with other heavy metals, it, it accumulates in the bones. So when you give this injection, we inject something called calcinate, which chelates. So if you're a chemist, it forms a little anatomic carbon ring around it, and then it gets weed out. So what we do is we inject the bird, it takes the metal out the body, and then more comes out from the bone where it's stored and you inject it again. And normally it takes us a bit of time, usually twice a day for a few days, then once a day and then weekly. And idea is to get all the lead out. What we do discuss as well, obviously, is to test the soil, etc, etc, but it's not part of today's video. Interesting for vets who are watching, we're using a 30, this is the 30 gauge, so it's really small. Um, 30 gauge is an insulin needle, but not only is it an insulin needle, it's a very small insulin needle. When you take the lid off to um, the size of the needle, it's very, very small. It's probably about... Uh, it's eight millimeters long. But the idea is it's small enough that you're not gonna penetrate anything. You can't really go wrong. And uh, this is an insulin syringe. The whole syringe is, is half a mil. So you can drop as much as you need it. Often you need bigger volumes than we use a one mil insulin syringe. Depends on the weight of the animal. Now, the biggest muscle in a bird and a chicken, and some of you might have seen the breast muscle of a chicken it's very big and this is called the pectoral muscle it starts here ends here and there's a big muscle on the side and when you inject we want you to inject in the pectoral muscles what we've done is we've printed a we've printed a handout so this is a bird on its back the head is up here the feet are here and this is the pectoral muscles in this this side that's the sternum you all remember the sternum of a bird this, like the keel of a ship. So what we do is if we're injecting every day, we'll say in the morning we're going to go on the left and in the evening we're going to go on the right. So the keel you can really feel. Can't the you? keel is very easy to feel and we'll show you on this bird. So we'll inject, say, left and right. And if we're doing lots of injections, we might go left, right, left, right, left, right, and then just repeat that pattern. Because we're using tiny needles, it should be safe to do. But I'm going to give this owner the handout and he can see. So we don't go right at the top, we don't go right at the bottom. When we do it. Okay. So uh, we're gonna so we're gonna draw up the drugs. So it depends on the weight. So this little bird's falling over, and we're presuming that's because of lead toxicity. We've taken leads and it's through the roof. You guys are gonna be getting a bottle. So you hold the bottle upside down. You put the needle in and you draw back. It'll it'll say on the label how much to give. I'm gonna weigh your pet, but it's gonna be approximately half a mile. And I'll say oh, once or twice a day. Ideas you're going to just try for a few days because some of these guys don't recover from it. Sometimes they get anemic and problematic, but the idea is that you, you've drawn it up. You don't want to prick yourself. You can put the needle on if you want, but we've got, we've got our syringe ready to go. We keep this in the fridge. The expiry of this is a difficult drug to get hold of. It expires in July 22, but that's just the, we get it made up. It's not a commercially available drug. So we believe it's good for today's March. April, May, June. For at least three months, this is good. Do you want to pop her on the scales? Mm -hmm. Come on, Mary. Okay. Pop your pen. See if she's still there. Okay. Okay. You want to put her on the side. There we go. You lie down there carefully. Mind your head. One point two nine. Okay. So let's let's put her on the table here. Yeah? You can have a line on the side if you'd like. Hi, oh, Mary. So you can see this is typical of a neuropathy where um, the head's okay, she's still, she's still there, but the feet are uncoordinated. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to spray a bit of alcohol. One is it's sterilized, but I want to show you the extent of the muscle. Sharon, you've got to try and see, you might. You, you've got to ignore the stitches, she's just had some surgery, but the keel bone starts there, and if you move up the keel bone, it ends here. Okay? So that's the breast muscle on both sides of the keel bone. 
So what you want to do is you want to just inject on the side of it. You probably go and you take your needle. You want to go in at about you want to go in at about forty five degrees, mm -hmm. um, and then you can just inject it because there's no major blood vessels there. You're probably okay. Yeah. Some people might draw back, but you can push the needle in because it's such a tiny syringe, potentially the whole way. Easy. So we're injecting. And you'll actually see, I mean, you can put pressure on, but when you take it out, okay. take a look, there's no, there's no bleeding, no. there's no, so I've, I've gone on the left hand side, I know it's left because I'm wearing a watch. <laughs> so I've gone on the left hand side, of, not, not, just let go, let go, mm -hmm. away. so it's not, so it's about a set, it's about an inch, because that's an American handout. <laughs> Two centimeters, I don't go close to the very top and close to the very bottom, but the stuff is very safe, so I've gone on the left. You can inject potentially on the right, left, right, left, right, and just go again. Yeah. But the idea is you should know if it's working in 72 hours. Remember, we don't save them all, but um, now the syringe, so thanks, we take our little Mary. So you can cap the syringe. Mm -hmm. yeah. into shops. And let's see how we go. So good luck in doing it. So you're going to have to hold the bottle, yeah. draw it up, trying to prick yourself too much. I'm not, uh, it's a big responsibility. But remember that hundreds of chickens are getting lead injections all over the world all the time. Yeah. And uh, we have a high percentage saving there. Just lasting as an aside, you can test the soil, which might be yeah. something you want to think yeah. about. Yeah. And then I can give you an address and just test the soil, see where the lead is coming from. Yeah. Um, and we know this video is not on lead, it's just on injections. Yeah. But lead, uh, if you've got 10 chickens, you can just have one showing signs on the other nine and have high mm -hmm. lead levels. It comes in your egg when you eat them especially in the shell, but just be aware, it's something worth knowing. So when we get um, a flock of chickens, we might test lead just in one of them. Yeah.